Here we go. So it says find the point on the unit circle that corresponds to the angle t equals 5 pi over 4. And first thing I look at this, when I'm, when I'm trying to determine where it is on the unit circle, first of all, you got to know the unit circle. I don't care if you want to watch different videos, my videos, how the unit circle is created, what it's about, how to memorize it, whatever. But you got to know what this unit circle um, is about and why it is. But once you know that, finding the coordinate point is very important. And I go through a whole video you know, on how we get these coordinate points. But now I'm all concerned about is just where's the coordinate point at the given angle. So again, I need to know, I need to remind myself, how, where is the angle 5 pi over 4? And what I notice is 5 fourths, that's greater than 1, right? That's greater than um, uh, just 1 pi. So when I look at, first of all, when I look at my unit circle, and here's the unit circle for uh, just my first quadrant. And I'm going to use that to kind of map around the rest. So first of all, I always look at my denominator. My denominator helps me break it up. Because if I have pi, that means it's 4 pi over 4, meaning I have four parts of, um, of my whole. So I have four different parts. Then, so if I'm going to say to my fifth part, it's going to be right down there. So when I look at that and I say, all right, so if all the way to here is 5 pi over 4, let's take a look at it and see exactly what the difference is. So if I look at my first quadrant, pi over 4 is positive radical 2 over 2 comma radical 2 over 2. So this angle, which is going to be an exact reflection, is going to be a reflection about the y and the x-axis. Therefore, the coordinate point that corresponds to 5 pi over 4 is just going to be negative 2 over 2 comma negative 2 over 2. So it's just going to be a reflection about the origin of your positive um, uh, positive uh, quadrant. And that's the same thing actually with all of these points or these three points. Anytime you have these points and you have now you have a, um, a point in the third quadrant, it's just going to be a reflection about the origin to get to those new points as far as the signs go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it helped. Please subscribe, ask comments, whatever you need. Thanks.